Both muscles of the lower limb. Uh, so here we have the lower limb. The lower limb we will study in four segments again. Uh, the pelvic muscles, the muscles of thigh, leg and foot. So in thigh, <clears throat> there will be two groups of muscles. Uh, internal muscles and external muscles. Uh, internal thigh muscles, <clears throat> uh, so uh, those which are visible, uh, they're visible in here. So um, we'll talk about psoas major, psoas minor, and iliacus muscle. So psoas major muscle, uh, it is rather massive muscle which originates from the lumbar vertebra here and descend down to the iliac fossa. What happens in iliac fossa? In iliac fossa, so this is part of the distal part of the <coughs> psoas major muscle. And <coughs> in the iliac fossa, psoas major muscle, it uh, connects with the iliacus muscle. So here it is the iliacus muscle, which originates from the iliac fossa. And together, these two muscles, they form iliopsoas muscle. Button up your course, please. Button band karo apna uh, Iliopsoas uh, muscle, it passes under the inguinal ligament, so here we have the muscles of abdomen, yeah? Uh, the external oblique, uh, internal oblique transverse muscle, and here the rectus abdominis muscle, and here in the lower part of the aponeurosis of the external oblique, we will find the inguinal ligament here. <clears throat> and under the inguinal ligament, the space under the inguinal ligament, it is divided into two parts. More medial is the vascular lacuna, the more lateral is muscular lacuna. Uh, in vascular lacuna, we will find blood vessels. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, in addition to the psoas major muscle, there is psoas minor muscle, good present. So in some individuals it is present, in some individuals it is not present. And this muscle, it uh, has a rather long, thin tendon, which uh, uh, can attach to the <coughs> fascia, iliac fascia, which covers the iliac muscle here. Uh, so, further, uh, let's turn uh, the leg and see the gluteal region. So here we have the gluteal region, and the most superficial muscle in this region is the gluteus maximus muscle. Um, so, the most superficial muscle in this region is the gluteus maximus muscle. The gluteus maximus muscle, uh, we can see it originating from the sacrum, from the ilium, <clears throat> and uh, here it is inserted to the gluteal tuberosity and the iliotibial tract, the uh, rather hard uh, connective tissue structure, which is uh, passing from the <clears throat> iliac bone, from the ilium to the tibia here. The distal part of it, and here we have some proximal part of it is the part of the uh, fascia lata <coughs> of the femur. Uh, gluteus maximus muscle, it helps us to extend the thigh. So when you <coughs> stand up, yes, <coughs> uh, your uh, gluteus muscles are working. Uh, under the gluteus maximus muscle, we will find the gluteus medius muscle. Gluteus medius muscle uh, also originated from the gluteal surface of the ilium. So here we can uh, palpate the iliac crest. Yes, and here the uh, gluteus medius muscle, and it is also visible under the gluteus maximus here. <clears throat> and even deeper to the gluteus maximus muscle, inside there will be gluteus minimus muscle also. <clears throat> so most of them are uh, working for the extension of the thigh. Uh, then, next muscle to discuss is the piriformis muscle. Piriformis muscle which originates from the lateral surface of the sacrum. And it is passing through the great sciatic foramen. Great sciatic foramen, and it divides the great sciatic foramen into the superpiriformis foramen and infrapiriformis foramen. Uh, above the piriformis muscle. So here it is the piriformis muscle, it is dissected into two parts. So, yeah, this piriform, and above the piriformis muscle, you will find the superpiriformis foramen. Here, infrapiriformis foramen. <clears throat> So uh, through the superpiriformis foramen, there will be superior gluteal artery, superior gluteal vein, and superior gluteal nerve passing. From the infrapiriform foramen, uh, the largest structure is the sciatic nerve. So here we can find sciatic nerve. It is the nerve, yeah. Uh, and uh, the inferior gluteal artery with the inferior gluteal vein nerve, <coughs> some posterior cutaneous nerve side, pudendal nerve. All, all the structure will be passing through the infrapiriformis foramen. <clears throat> then, uh, below the piriformis muscle, we will find uh, three more muscles. One, two, and three. 
uh, there will be superior and inferior gemellus muscles, and between them there will be obturator internus muscle. <coughs> Uh, we can see them originating from the ischium mostly and to the greater trochanter of the finger, here, the greater trochanter. And uh, the lowest muscle here is, uh, an, uh, is the quadratus femoris muscle, quadratus femoris muscle here, also originating from the uh, ischial tuberosity and to the greater trochanter. <coughs> Any questions from here? Okay, uh, and... <clears throat> Here on the lateral side, we can find one more muscle. This one, uh, this muscle is called a tensor fasciae lata muscle. Tensor fasciae lata. Tensor fasciae lata. Yes, uh, which originates from the anterior superior iliac spine and uh, inserted into the <clears throat> uh, white fascia of the femur, white fascia of the thigh, and uh, it will tense it. Yeah. <clears throat> then let's talk about muscles of the thigh. Uh, thigh muscles, uh, they are uh, divided into three compartments uh, anterior, posterior, and medial compartment. Anterior compartment of the thigh uh, are mostly the uh, flexors of the thigh and extensors of the leg. Yeah? So they will raise up our thigh and extend our leg. Yeah? So the movement to kick someone. Yeah? Um, uh, the most Superficially on the anterior compartment is the longest uh, muscle in the human body, which is the sartorius muscle. Here we can see the sartorius muscle. Sartorius muscle, which originates from the anterior superior iliac spine, goes obliquely, diagonally uh, on the thigh and inserts it into the medial part of the tibia. <clears throat> it will help with the flexion and the adduction of the thigh. Adduction. Adduction. <clears throat> and uh, the most massive part of the anterior thigh uh, is taken by quadriceps femoris muscle. Quadriceps femoris muscle consists of uh, four heads. Yeah? Uh, this one is called rectus femoris muscle, which originates from the anterior inferior iliac spine. <clears throat> and uh, in addition to this, we have three vastus muscles. Vastus lateralis muscle, vastus medialis muscle, and vastus intermedius muscle. They are originated from the femur, <clears throat> and all these four heads, uh, they are uh, attached to the patella, to the base of the patella, and from patella we have the patella tendon, which is att uh, attached to the Tibia. tibial tuberosity. Yeah? By this it is helping to extend the leg. Any questions in here? Then let's move to the medial compartment. <clears throat> medial compartment is mostly uh, responsible for adduction of the thigh. And... and no, towards. Adduction. 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 Towards the body. And uh, mm, uh, the most medial muscle in this group is this thin muscle, which is called gracilis muscle. Gracilis. gracilis. Yeah, we can see it uh, originates from the pubic symphysis, from the inferior pubic ramus, and also inserted to the medial condyle and medial surface of the tibia. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, then, uh, uh, deeper to this, we will find three adductor muscles. Uh, there will be adductor longus muscle, this one, adductor longus, then adductor brevis, and adductor magnus muscle. Longus, longus brevis, Magnus. Magnus. Yes. <clears throat> the biggest one. Uh, these muscles, they uh, originate from the pubis, from the uh, pelvic bone, yes, and insert to the uh, medial lip of the linea aspera and to the adductor tubercle uh, of the femur, and uh, they have to adduct the thigh. And the last muscle in the medial compartment, are you feeling better? Yeah, I'm not feeling good. Huh? Yes, a little bit. Little bit. Yeah. Come on, come on. 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 Come
posterior compartment. Uh, posterior compartment of thigh includes uh, three muscles, which are <coughs> located here. Uh, so, uh, these muscles uh, are biceps femoris muscle on the lateral side, biceps. Bicep. Semi tendinous and semi membranous muscle. <coughs> uh, biceps femoris muscle, uh, it originates, it has two heads the long head and the short head. Long head, short head. Long head originates from the ischial tuberosity, short head originates from the lateral lip of the linea aspera. Together, as one tendon, they are attached to the head of the fibula, yes, and uh, the lateral part is here. <coughs> On the medial side, we can find semitendinous and semimembranous muscles. Both of them are also originated from the ischial tuberosity. Uh, semitendinous, it, is, it, it takes its name from the very long tendon. Mm -hmm. uh, also inserts to the medial surface of the tibia along with the tendons of the gracilis and sartorius muscles. Yeah, so it can, <coughs> can be also called pes and serinus. Yeah. No, no the, uh, they are inserted into one uh, structure. You are not too well, also. No, just huh? I'm tired. You are tired. Fuse. <laughs> yes, the, the fuse. Um, uh, this structure is called pes anserinus, or if we will translate it in English, it will be the duck leg. Yes, duck, duck, duck foot. Leg. Duck foot. Yes, like, uh, ha have you ever seen yes, the duck? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you see, this, this foot, 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 foot. Uh, these three tendons, they are like three fingers, yes, yes? three toes, and uh, here, like a foot, yes, where they are attached. So uh, there will be tendons of the sartorial, gracilis, and semitendinous muscles. And semimembranous muscle, it attaches to the <coughs> medial condyle of tibia, here and uh, it is called semimembranous because of its proximal part. You see, the proximal part looks like a, a thin white membrane. You know, that's why this muscle is called semimembranous. And these three muscles they are helping with the flexion of the leg. Yes, flexion, flexion. Mm -hmm. in the knee joint. Uh, which structures can we also find in the thigh? In the thigh, you have to know about the femoral triangle. <coughs> Uh, femoral triangle, it is the uh, space, the, uh, which is triangular in shape, <coughs> one, two, three, uh, which borders are uh, superiorly the inguinal ligament, laterally the sartorius muscle, and medially the adductor uh, longus muscle. In this triangle, we can find the femoral artery, femoral vein, here also the Great saphenous vein will pass, great saphenous vein, uh, femoral nerve, and the iliopsoas muscle. And uh, femoral artery and vein, further, they travel into the adductor canal. Adductor canal, which is formed by the vastus medialis muscle, adductor longus, and adductor magnus muscles. <clears throat> so, this canal, these two blood vessels, they travel to the popliteal fossa, which is uh, situated on the posterior surface of, of the knee. <clears throat> so, popliteal uh, fossa, <coughs> which is present here, it is rhomboid in shape. Uh, its superior part is formed by the uh, biceps femoris, semimembranous muscles, <coughs> and inferior part is formed by the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle, and also here will be the plantaris muscle. Okay. Plantaris muscle. <coughs> Uh, in this fossa, we can find popliteal artery and popliteal vein, which are the continuations of the popliteal uh, of the femoral artery and femoral vein, and also the sciatic nerve and its <coughs> bifurcation. So the sciatic nerve, and here we can see how it bifurcates into its two main branches: the tibial nerve and the <coughs> common fibular nerve. Here, tibial and common fibular nerve. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> leg uh, has also three compartments, posterior, anterior, and lateral. Posterior compartment of leg, 
it, uh, is formed by two layers of muscles, superficial and deep. Superficial layer of muscles in the posterior compartment of leg formed mostly by the triceps crudis muscle. Triceps crudis muscle uh, consists of three heads, which are part of two muscles. The most superficial muscle here is the gastrocnemius muscle. Here it is. Gastro Gastrocnemius. Gastrocnemius. Uh, it originates with two heads, uh, lateral and medial ones, uh, which further connect with each other and originates from the epicondyles of the femur. <clears throat> and under the gastrocnemius muscle, we will find the soleus muscle. Soleus. soleus muscle, which originates from the soleal line of the tibia. And altogether, these three heads, they <clears throat> connect in a calcaneus tendon or Achilles tendon. Yeah. The one present here, right? Calcaneus. Calcaneus foot present. Many ascomeus. Many ascomeus. There will be ancaneus. And this in the in the arm. And here it is Achilles. From from the name of the Achilles. Greek ancient ancient Greek hero Achilles. Yes. Achilles. <laughs> uh, are lumbar vertebrae, yeah. L4 uh, and 5, intervertebral discs, <laughs> and the sacrum. That, that's why this tendon is called the Achilles tendon, yes, by the, by, by, by the name of that ancient Greek mythic hero. Yeah. Very confusing. How can you differentiate? Every muscle is the same. No. Yeah. So, uh, also, uh, there is one more thin muscle which is called the popliteus, uh, pop, uh, plantaris muscle. Here, you see, I pull the tendon. Here, the plantaris muscle. Yes, located. Yes, it is this one. Yes. Uh, this is the small tendon of the plantaris muscle. It originates also from the uh, lateral side of the femur, and its tendon is attached to the Achilles tendon, to the calcaneal tendon. <coughs> so, this? This is this is soleus muscle. Soleus. So uh, after that, uh, there will be the deep layer of the leg muscles. And uh, <clears throat> there, it is not very comfortable to look for uh, them from that side because they are covered by the soleus muscle, but we can freely see their tendons behind the medial uh, malleolus. <clears throat> medial malleolus. Yes, me medial malleolus. So, this is plantar aponeurosis. So, a medial malleolus, and from here we count one, two, three, and four. Yeah, the first position is taken by the tibialis posterior muscle. Tibialis, tibialis posterior muscle. You can see how it is uh, attached to the plantar surface of the navicularis muscle uh, bone, for example, <coughs> and it will help with the plantar flexion of the foot. Uh, next one will be the tendon of the flexor digitorum longus muscle. Flexor digitorum longus muscle. You can see it, its tendon is divided into four parts, mm -hmm. which are attached to the toes from the second to fifth to flex the, uh, these toes. And uh, third position is taken by the blood vessels and nerves. So here we will find the posterior tibial artery, tibial nerve, nerve and the posterior tibial veins. <clears throat> and the last one, the fourth one, is the flexor halluxus longus muscle. Flexor halluxus longus muscle, hallux, it is the big toe. So it flexes the big toe. Okay? Uh, now let's... Any questions here? No. no now let's. Um, mm, I forgot to tell you the from the popliteal fossa we have the <coughs> cruoropopliteal canal originating, where uh, the popliteal artery and vein will pass, and further posterior tibial artery, tibial nerve, and you know, posterior tibial veins will pass between the soleus muscle and the deep leg muscles. Anterior compartment of the leg includes three muscles. There will be tibialis anterior muscle here. Tibialis anterior, we can see how it is attached to the cuneiform bones. Uh, then next will be the extensive digitorum longus muscle. Extensive digitorum longus muscle. 
uh, attaches to the toes from second to fifth to extend them and extensor hallucis longus muscle extensor hallucis longus muscle <coughs> uh, which extends the big toe between these muscles there will be the uh, the space for the anterior tibial artery and the deep fibular nerve here anterior tibial artery and deep fibular nerve mm -hmm. and the lateral compartment of the leg it includes only two muscles <clears throat> there will be two fibularis muscles fibularis longus muscle and fibularis brevis muscle uh, which will also help with the flexion counter flexion of the foot questions <clears throat> On the foot, uh, there are not so many muscles that you have to know. On the dorsal side of the foot, there will be extensor muscles like extensor hallucis longus and extensor digitorum longus muscles. Here, for example, extensor digitorum longus muscle. Or brevis, sorry. Extensor digitorum brevis, extensor hallucis brevis, because longus are there. Yeah. And uh, on the plantar surface, there will be a bit more muscles, so they are covered by the plantar aponeurosis. And there are also the uh, flexor digitorum brevis muscle. Uh, also, there are some muscles which are providing the movements of the big toe and of the little toe. Any questions? Mm. Can you move the fingers? Mm, uh, they are not so easily movable in the lower limb than in the upper limb. Okay. So uh, I pulled the flexor hallux longus tendon a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it is slightly movable, but you see it is fractured here, so yeah. we don't want it to run away from the, this leg, okay? <clears throat> With the cadaver had a fracture in the hmm? uh, It is a uh, post-mortem. What? Post-mortem. Post yeah. so, <clears throat> uh, the biggest fissure uh, which you have to know in the leg is the fascia lapa which is uh, present on the anterior lateral surface of the thigh. Yeah, and yeah, it has some harder part which extends from the iliac uh, to the tibia. And uh, here we can see its distal part, uh, which is called... Um, <coughs> it's been cut? Yes, it's been cut. Uh, from here and from here, and fascia is removed also. Uh, we, uh, which is called uh, the iliotibial tract. Yeah. Here. <coughs> it is the most significant well, one. A lot of features, they are uh, not so thick and uh, visible, but they are covering uh, muscles and muscle groups. And uh, form the intermuscular septums, which divides the groups of muscles. Any other questions? Uh, count it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, around 13 muscles in the pelvis. In the shoulder girdle, we had six. In the thigh, we found uh, one, two, three, eight, uh, at least ten, ten to thirteen muscles. In leg, here only four. <clears throat> In the forearm, we had. Uh, forearm is really confusing. Uh, on forearm, we had eight, yes. eight here Damn. and uh, around ten. There. Mm. Yes, here a bit less. Yeah, uh, there will be one, two, three, four, about six or seven posteriorly, plus two here. Laterally, yeah. 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 yes, and plus three here. It's so, anterior. yes, anterior. around 12. Can I give a shoulder and. All, all, all the link together. All, all the, the link together? All the no, no, I mean, no, if you if you are giving the limb, you have to give all the limb, not just this small part, which includes only uh, 10 muscles. 10 muscles? 6 and 4. 